Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome. Welcome. Good afternoon. A very, very warm welcome to each one of you. And let us prepare ourselves for this session by first chanting a verse from the Shivamanas Puja. So I request each one of you to gently close your eyes, bring your palms in the prayer position or in whichever position you feel appropriate to show our respect to the divine, to the Tao, to the source. And together, those of you who know the mantra can join me in chanting silently. Atma Tvam Girija Mati Sahachara Prana Shariram Griham Puja Te Vishayopaboga Rachana Nitra Sama Distitihi Sanchara Padayo Pradakshina Vidhi Sotrani Sarvagiro Yatya Sarmakaro Mitadadakilam Sambhotavaradhanam Karacharana Kritam Kayajam Karma Jamba Shravana Nayana Jamba Manasam Vaparadam Vihitam Avihitam Sarvamitakshamaswa Jaya Jaya Karunabde Shri Maha Deva Shambho oh. We welcome the Divine Tao Source, all of our spiritual masters from all lifetimes, all of our ancestors and all the holy saints, saint animals, all the holy scriptures. All the spiritual masters of all cultures, traditions, belief systems. The sun, the moon, the stars, the planets, the galaxies, the universes and beyond. We invite each one of you to please come and join us for this session to bless us, to guide us, to open our hearts and souls, to align our soul, heart, mind and body. Thank you. Thank you. And now... I request Kaumudi to please introduce the speaker for this evening. Welcome, Kaumudi. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to today's session. And it, is, it gives me immense pleasure today to introduce our guest for the day. She's Ms. Shraddha Kari, who is a mentor, who is a counselor, a speaker, a writer, and a special educator. She's also an art therapist. And today she will be talking about how to win the battle of life by breaking the chakra view. So I invite each one of you to join me to welcome her today. Welcome, Shraddha. Welcome. Thank you so much. Hope I am audible. You're not audible. Not yet. We cannot hear you. Am I audible now? It just I I no. I can hear you very yeah. Hello. Okay. Am I audible now, Kamadi? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much. Welcome to it. Disconnected my headphones. So okay. it's better without the headphones. Thank you so much. Okay. So, uh, Namaskar, everyone. Thanks for this opportunity. And uh, without wasting time, just give me a second.
Yeah. Uh, thanks for the introduction and sorry for the interference. Okay. It was just my son playing around, so I told him to leave the room so that I can start talking. Okay. So, uh, uh, yes, last week's session was too interesting, which I attended with you all. So, uh, I was very much happy with what ma'am had told last week. So, today, uh, I, uh, I hope that I deliver something which you are looking out for. So, without any delay, should I start the screen sharing? But I need it to be an interactive session. So, please be asking and uh, interacting with me. Okay. So, I will start the sheet. Uh, have you given the rights, Kamali? Yeah. Kaumudhi, the screen sharing is not happening. Okay, uh, you want it on the other uh, ID? Okay, Kaumudhi, can you please... Uh... Yeah, there's no option only for screen sharing. Or else I will share you the PPT, Kaumudhi, you can uh, send, uh, start sharing it. So that's better that we don't waste time. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Fine. Till then, I will keep interacting with you guys. So, what do you feel is Chakra View? What is it all about? Circle of Challenges. Yes. Shada, I have made you a co-host on the other one also. See if it okay. helps you. And I would request as many of you can possible be on camera. So that it's easier to, uh, you know, highlight you and, sorry, what do you call it? Spotlight you. Thank you. Yeah, till then I want your input. The volume is very low right now. Chakravu, all about. And what is Chakravu? What does this word give you? A circle of challenges. Okay. Something more. So, what does this one word brings into your mind? Abhimanyu. Abhimanyu, correct. We all know Abhimanyu's Chakravyu very well. But do you know how Chakravyu is formed? Anyone? Not really. And any idea? Who he all knew Chakra Yeah. I guess it is easy to enter the Chakra view, but uh, difficult to get out of it. And how is it is formed? I think it's uh, maybe there are layers of some uh, difficulties which are difficult to surmount. So I think that's it. Yeah. Yes, Uma, ma'am, you were telling something. I said we just jump into one. <laughs> we it's already there into, and we, are, we, are, we jump yeah, into we it. We are always jumping into one or the other chakra group in our lives. How many of you have experienced that feeling that we are trapped somewhere? Kamari is raising her hand. So that's always there. Now we sometimes in our lives we must have had felt that okay, this is something like a trap, and I am somewhere trapped into a chakra, isn't it? Who all knew how to break the chakra? <laughs> yeah, we all have gone through Mahabharata and all the Arjun, things. Arjun, Arjun knew it. And Sri Krishna. Yeah. 
Arjun learned it from whom? Lord, <coughs> Lord Krishna. He learned it from Lord Krishna. Oh. He learned it when he was in Mother's Guru. Dronachari. Dronachari. Yeah, his Guru, Dronachari. So, Dronacharya knew. Bhishma Pitama knew. So, there were very few warriors who knew how to break the chakra. Even Draupadi's father knew how to break it and how to form it. So, uh, how many of you know, uh, know that chakra view was formed twice in Mahabharata? When Guru Dronacharya was demanded to give Guru Dakshina, like when the kings demanded, all the uh, Kauravas and Pandavas demanded that we want to give you Guru Dakshina, what you would like to have. That time, Guru Dronacharya said, I want to revenge on my friend who had ignored my wish to give a kingdom to my son. How many of you know who is the father of Draupadi? Yes, Uma ma'am. Drupad? Drupad. Drupad. Yes. So Drupad was the best friend of Guru Dronacharya and he had promised Guru Dronacharya that whenever you want something, I will gift you. And when uh, Dronacharya's son wanted to rule a kingdom, Dronacharya went to his friend asking, he give my son one of your kingdoms where he could rule. As you are a king, my son wants to rule a kingdom and I want you to gift him a kingdom in our friendship. That time, Guru uh, Drupad insulted Guru Dronacharya and removed him from the state. So, in revenge, Guru Dronacharya asked all the Kauravas and Pandavas that I want to win over Drupad and break his ego. So, I want that Guru Dakshina. At that moment, first the Kauravas said, we will go and win over. And that time, Drupad had formed a chakra view and he captured all the hundred uh, Kauravas. And that's when Arjuna first broke in the whole chakra view and won, won, win over the whole situation and uh, defeated Raja Drupad. So that was the first time Arjuna had defeated Raja Drupad by breaking the chakra view. And then the second chakra view was formed into the battle to kill Abhimanyu. But we all only know few, few like the incidences that is Abhimanyu. Chakra view is only related to Abhimanyu. But it was not like that. In the whole Mahabharata or in the Bhagavad Gita, it is mentioned, uh, the, uh, chakra view was formed twice. So how many of you found it interesting? Yes. It's yes. interesting, madam. I'm having little work in my hands, so I'm not okay. starting my video. That's it. But it's really no interesting. Issue. No issue. Very interesting. Yeah. So, uh, Kamadi, uh, would you start sharing? Yeah, sure. Just a minute. There are many such stories in our culture where we uh, can see different things happening. Now, Chakra view, Padma view is very ancient war technique and tactic. Have you started? Uh, just, just give me a minute. So it was also known as Padma view when it was into a lotus ship. That's all uh, those images I will be showing you in the PPT. Which comedy will show you? Yeah, it's just it taking a, time. Yeah, yeah. To load. Yeah, I'll just share. It's happening.
next slide so as we all said when the word chakravyu comes we all relate to mahabharata the serials we saw because we have not seen chakravyu the war formations since our birth i think was there anybody who has visited any uh, chakravyu's uh, formation time or something or has seen those war techniques only on tv yeah only on television only on television so that's the image that is taken up okay so next slide come yeah so abhimanyu has so very very few of us know abhimanyu or everybody knows everybody knows that yes Chakra everybody knows about. yeah it's all about abhimanyu okay next slide come so chakravyu here you can see it is nothing but it refers to one of the famous military formations which is ne uh, not only narrated in mahabharata but specifically known through mahabharata there are many different uh, hindu myth uh, stories which depict the formation of chakravyu so uh, the first image is of a uh, lotus which again shows that it is a chakravyu this was also a formation and we very well know know it as a second formation that is the circular one that is the chakra uh, next slide come yeah so this is the chakra view the commander in chief who creates the formation is always having some strategic planning can you see the small boxes all of you so those were the boxes where any one who could enter will get stuck in those boxes so that was the formation and each box had one or the other very prominent fighter who will not let you go out so it was that way the chakra view was formed next slide so person who tries to enter the formation will not be able to judge the target strength and stint instead of since the target is getting changed every time because it is rotating can you see the image the entry point keeps on changing because people the arrows as it is shown the soldiers used to move in that arrow so constantly the formation used to be a running uh, merry go round and so one who is wanting to enter the chakra view it was very difficult for him to get it yes come on the next slide yeah so here uh, this is the old uh, depiction which is still there in some of our stones next slide come on the and this is the padma view a chakra view the abhimanyu's death trap depicted on the walls of the temple at koleshwara which is located in karnataka helbidu karnataka so whenever you visit karnataka try that you visit this koleshwara temple and see this chakra view for sure like our indian myths and uh, things were carved on stones that history is still carved in our stones next yes now what you learn from abhimanyu is half knowledge can be more dangerous than knowledge how many of you do agree isn't it yes archana shetty ma'am message is yes. so rest of the sir vijay sir is nodding his head so isn't it aadha knowledge hamesha hi khatarnak hota hai so that's what abhimanyu learned the trick but he never knew that he has to break everything and come out he never learned the technique how to break it next slide come ji <coughs> yeah so are we here to discuss history and talk about all ch what chakravyu is no isn't it i am not here for some gyan pravachana or bhagavad gita i am here to understand correct she she will sun sir is reading this slide okay so have you ever seen a chakravyu in life is what we discussed prior no we have not seen we have seen it on television have you ever seen someone stuck in a chakravyu around you no 
okay but have you experienced feeling of getting trapped in a check review it was a yes prior i think na? every now and then some or the other situations in our life we must have felt it yes archana ma'am is again saying yes so have you learned the trick to break it from somewhere no we are here to learn it isn't it that's why we all are here gathered today next slide come so let's start breaking the chakra next chakra view is what chakra view of mind heart feelings relationships and many more things that go on within us how many of you agree isn't it kaha yud chalta hai kaha atakte hain hum हमारे रिलेशनशिप्स में हमारी सोच में हमारे दिल में कहीं ना कहीं एक उलझन है सो ऑलवेज वी फेस सम और दी अदर ग्लिचेस वेर वी गेट स्टक्ट इन एंड देन वी फील वी आर ट्रैप्ड व्हाट टू सिलेक्ट आर एथिक्स आर लव और समथिंग लाइक दैट सो एनी वन सिचुएशन एनीबडी वुड लाइक टू शेयर it is uh, uh, that trap a person borrowing heavily then he has a problem whether to pay the interest or the principal so that trap is one of <laughs> the money trap is something very very uh, beautifully uh, uh, made by god like the money monetary basis is always where a person feels trapped in ek bar us circle mein atak gaye to atak you cannot come out of all those things and everybody is living to earn money so that he can feed himself his family his desires isn't it and money is essential till the end of life so that a biggest trap we get for. we can fall in next slide comedy yeah so what all what we all are striving for in our lives is love happiness success passion money but moreover it is all about winning isn't it everybody wants to win is there anybody who wants to lose certainly not isn't it so we all are here for winning so what is there in the center what abhimanyu why abhimanyu went into the center because he wanted to win win the war Or even we are trying to win the war isn't it we try to win the war of heart mind happiness success passion we want to win it all for us next slide so this is the formation of chakra view uh, if possible i would like you all to try and draw this formation once in your life you can even draw if it is not similar to this you can even draw seven circles okay so at the end we will make an activity where uh, we will break through that circles okay so whomsoever is sitting with a pen can try drawing that circles next slide so this is the formation of chakra view so chakra view is a trap its main purpose is both defensive and offensive can anybody tell me how it is defensive and offensive both at the same time the one who creates it's defensive for him an offensive for the one who tries to enter enter it but then when it is within us i think it's our thoughts and what we create yeah but then it is defensive so it is defensive in what way how, how is our mind I, chakra view defensive defenses i think it's scarcity of i mean what's the uh, fear of uh, getting out of the comfort zone so we try to you know keep fighting it we make our own chakra view no no i cannot break this and go out isn't it we make our own walls there we create our walls correct as similarly in the previous images of mind where the trap is too too sensitive to be broken and offensive when we need something we break all the walls and go out don't we 
okay so you cannot penetrate it means you cannot stop it you cannot stop it means you cannot crush it isn't it or we can crush it am i going to boring or something no no very interesting you cannot stop it means it crushes your army as it moves forward can you explain this further yeah so uh, it says that you cannot stop a chakra because once a soldier is dead or something you break there uh, another soldier takes his place so the chakra is constantly moving and a uh, defensive party or the person who is creating a chakra view will keep in mind that if some soldier is dead his position will be taken by another position and he will be moved out and similar are our thoughts one thought breaks down or we console ourselves no we cannot do this or this cannot happen another thought takes place isn't it so it is similar way so we cannot break through it we have to crush that thought that's what we learn in our counseling sessions or in very different meditative positions what is told stop thinking so that is crushing that process completely with the army of meditation or army of any any thing which will cut you off from your thoughts correct so that's how you crush the army has to move forward but by while crushing it is not possible is it possible in our mind it's not easier you need a very great level of meditation i think now in as a reiki healer uh you have attained that uh peacefulness somewhere so that you heal others but attaining that stage is very difficult sometimes for some people it needs practice it needs patience it needs uh your uh, your willingness to overcome those things okay so you should penetrate it somehow that the progress is stopped then the progress is stopped so when you reach the center the movement will stop somebody has encroached with it it is similarly as a bacteria when it reaches the center it starts growing or it stops growing there are two processes same is the thought until it goes in your mind everything is fine but once one small thought mingles you start rotating around and around it correct so how many of you are there with me here till here yes okay krishna sir next slide comedy okay so Ami, abhimanyu did this exact exactly but he didn't know that while moving into the formation one must not reach the innermost core once because once you get into the innermost core the chakra will stop rotating and not allow anybody coming the formation will stop no thinking process is further allowed so once a thought reaches your innermost core you are not uh, left with any choice to think about anything else isn't it it will make you think only about itself how many of you agree would you call it negative mindsets or something where we do not allow others to influence us it depends on how the thought is if it is negative it will be negative mindset but if it is a a positive thing uh, it will be a positive mindset also sometimes people uh, feel that my thinking is correct and they will not allow anybody else to talk because they are correct now for them they are correct they will never accept so that, because they have reached the innermost core making a decision that my thought is correct correct so they don't keep any space for anything to enter that core now until you are there playing in the outer walls you at least allow something or the other to come inside but once you reach the innermost core you will not allow anything to reach and that's what happens in our brain so if you want to exit the formation exit the formation you need to avoid it you should not go to the innermost belief system because when your belief is harmed or your belief is confirmed you will not be able to adjust out or you will not be able to voice out also sometimes so there are two kinds of people one who voice out and one who keep quiet they keep it inside in that chakra they feel trapped and they will not be ready to break it away 
they will not be able to voice it out okay so but if you enter the innermost core of chakra view there is no exit because you are very much trapped for good your opposition has no need to change anything it is similar with the thoughts isn't it do you feel then the the party in front of you has to change his thoughts whatever thought process the party in front of you keeps you will not change your thought because the thought is already gone to the inner core do you agree how many of you agree that this is how we be, be behave or we believe next slide kamali next slide kamali yeah so next till here i am in am i in sync with you guys yeah yes okay so now uh before going further why seven now seven plays now when we are entering our personal life seven plays a very important role in our day to day life so we say saptapadi saptarang saptadhatu saptadhanya okay next slide come the the sa sa music tones like sare gama pa those are also seven okay there are seven lok patal lok uh, we only lo patal patal lok is more uh, used but there are seven loks the atal lok the vital lok the sutal lok so there are seven lokas so these it is believed that people go through all these seven stages to reach the patal lok it is not directly the patal lok we are stay, staying on the bhul loka and then we go through all these stages to reach the patal lok that is the way so there are seven things there are seven uh, uh, chakras which we all know last uh, week i think ma'am had taught us very well so seven chakras are there seven yuga satyug we say na satyug next slide come so why why seven seven religions believe in or uh, uh, in number seven all the religions believe in number seven that is found that is the study which shows next slide so uh, the importance of seven in bible is also mentioned so the number seven in the bible represents divine perfection totality or completion completion and is mentioned at least 490 times the importance of seven next the number of seven is also there in the holy qurans they believe that uh, a person has to go through the seven heavens for the quran readings next slide similarly as we know indian beliefs are always there seven beliefs of indian we have but then there are even seven deadly sins which we go through and those sins are what is our chakra view all trap the trap of our mind is all on okay so how many uh, of you are seeing the seven sins in the front do you relate anger pride greed gluttony sloth and envy and lust so all of us face all the seven sins in our life so what is sin do you relate sin do you believe in sin yes do you believe next slide comedy <laughs> so it is also there in hindu mythology that this seven things keep you away from reaching the god or the divine soul it's not always one god but the divine soul or the divine power which you always want to reach that attainment that contentment so these seven beliefs keep you away from that. so who who all of you believe false prestige anger so we all have it isn't it right next slide come yes arjuna ma'am is given a yes so so these are the seven obstacles uh, 
the slide before this comedy okay okay so how many of you believe these are the seven sins when we place it in the chakra view can we place it that's the reason i had told you to draw that chakra view. seven circles next slide come yeah so here the seven obstacles in human mind similar to those seven sins are procrastination lack of motivation well being distractions lack of time lack of information and fear how many of you go through this so whenever what is the basic motto as we had told is winning what is the winning call goal vision want isn't it so we all have a goal a goal of happiness and what are the reasons we give ourselves yes now i want you all to talk are these reasons similar not all must be there not all seven sins are always there working towards one target but it is a study that out of this seven seven things or seven distractions which we call as sins sins are not always bad certain things are always uh, also required in your life but then it is a study that from out of this seven minimum four are always contributing towards you keeping uh, away from your goals so do we agree that we give reasons i don't have time yes yes lack of motivation there is nobody to motivate me so i cannot reach my goal nobody <laughs> says i am good at it so i will not do it that's the reason we sometimes give us lack of information i don't know which source to go through or what should i do what is the ultimate goal so that is again lack of information fear fear is the most common factor which we are instilled with since our childhood don't touch this you will get hurt don't go there you will get hurt so we say that uh, i am fearful but that is an instinct factor which is inbuilt in our life since our birth we are been scared to our death all the time how many of you agree like mother especially the mother is always caring for a kid her love is not strong i don't say it but then she will always imbibe her child with a fear don't run you will fall don't touch this it is hot isn't it so we believe in that fear and we start believing in fear fear for life fear for not getting hurt so before taking and step towards our wish goals or whatever we want we always think something how how this will not go wrong that negative thought will always come what if isn't it every everyone must have faced it or is there somebody who has never faced fear there are people i will not say i don't feel hitler has any time faced fear so he was fearless isn't it yes but people may not have yeah i mean you sometimes the fear is limited to certain aspects only correct right yes ma'am so that's it now but then certain aspects but then there is a fear in everybody and that fear will pull you back somewhere or the other to reach to your goal there are many people where things are very simpler for them but still they fear to go forward what if i do this and it goes wrong so there is a fear of even trial about things and these are the seven obstacles which our human mind takes in these are this is the chakra view these are the seven qualities which will not let you reach your goals the winning strokes they will not give you that winning satisfaction okay so people when win over all these seven things will uh, be on top of everything because that will boost your self confidence then well being well being is your health people give issues of health 
I cannot do this. I cannot run. But then uh, we see many, uh, like now the amputated Olympiads are also. Amputated people have reached Mount Everest and still people with two legs will say, I cannot go out and work because I cannot do it. There is something. They have trapped themselves in their minds that I cannot do it. That I cannot has reached the inner core. So they cannot do it. They have to eliminate it. That thought has to be eliminated. And then comes the distractions. What are distractions? The lust. The things, uh, things like uh, drinking, smoking. There are certain habits which people get intended to or uh, habitual. So these are the seven things. And procrastination. So always trying to pull back people. So that people have a fear of procrastination also. If I do so, what will she say? What will he say? So they always be under that fear. That procrastination is always there. That what will somebody come and tell me about myself? If I am going out, if I am trying out, if a, how, a house lady or a housewife tries to uh, go out in a jeans, people will start looking at her. A, a lady who was always in sari is now in jeans. And she will be always in fear. Okay, how would I leave a sari? How, what will people say if they see me that way? So she is not ready to accept that change just because of procrastination. I'm just giving a general uh, example. It's not like nowadays people are there with different mindsets. So it's a very different uh, area outside. Next slide come. So there are seven le levels, seven obstacles in your life. So how are you going to break them now? Now I want you all to start talking and discuss how will you break. It is actually an exercise that you have to draw those seven circles. And in those seven circles, you have to write what are your seven priorities. The previous uh, slide, Kamadi. So here we have mentioned in different areas, seven things. You have to understand which area and zone you stand. Can we do that small exercise? So you can draw, try drawing your wish in the center, what you want. And the seven reasons how, so the outmost layer will be the reason which you can easily manipulate, break up and try to shift it and the toughest toughest most reason will be near the inner core don't draw it similar you can just draw seven circles one inside the other the center will be your wish and rest seven layers are these all seven different is there in a kind of uh, what to say key the least one has to be outside and yeah, that, that I told you, no? the least one which you can overcome should be outer. And the stubborn reason should be the innermost.
the shraddha that yes. which is most important would be the innermost one right see uh, your wish or what you want to achieve you can uh, write in the center okay the se- the layer next to it will be the stubborn most reason you give uh-huh. to not achieve that goal correct okay okay thank and you got uh, it the one which you can overpower easily and you can manipulate in that way it will be mm-hmm. the outermost okay is lakshmi ma'am done comedy is also done so i want you all to share it share it on chat no no you can just we can okay. just discuss about okay it. okay fine you can stop the screen sharing if you want for some time uh, if people are writing or else you can stop it for some time yeah who's starting do you feel this this can be done can we break it now can we eliminate this layer i think it should be possible so group strength yes komodi can we start with you komodi smiling Okay. <laughs> yeah. So for me uh, right now it is the same but sometimes what happens is this keeps changing I feel. So yeah the center will yeah. keep changing. This is an exercise which I have given you. Whenever you feel stuck in a chakra you take that position in the center or that goal in the center and write whatever these things can also change us. the reasons can also change. These are some study reasons which we are giving. so mm-hmm. this is from research which we have found are the seven common reasons but the reasons can be different at different times for different people yeah so those obstacles can be returned by you every time you feel you are stuck in a chakra or you are stuck in some position yes so like right now for me i feel lack of time is the most important one it comes for me the in the most then the fear well being lack of information procrastination lack of motivation and distractions so that is so many times maybe the same thing sometimes lack of time is manageable sometimes it is what not what is your innermost re- reason you said no right now yeah right now 
right now. Okay. Yes. So, but then I, I don't lack time. I so have to start with the outermost circle, Kamadi. Okay, I'll start. What is your that. outermost circle? Distractions. 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 So, yes. how will you avoid distractions? By just being motivated to do something okay. towards my goal. Anyone could suggest? Concentration. Concentration. More focus. More focus. More focus. Distractions are external factors. So what happens if somebody is coming to you or something is flushing to you, what will you do first? Our body gives a reflex. If something is coming near your eyes, your eyes will close. Similar are your distractions. So close your eyes towards the distraction. Close your ears towards the distraction. Yeah. Your mind will automatically close towards it. Your distraction is what? A phone, a time, a thought. So to avoid it, we have to break the connection with it. So to distract yourself from, from something, you have to disconnect yourself from that thought process. So engage in something. So the distraction is gone. Can it happen? Yes. 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 Next. Lack of motivation. Hello. Okay. Yes, yes, okay. Should I start? Yes. Uh, my mine is the core is well being. Right. Second one is fear. Third is lack of motivation. Fourth is lack of information. Fifth is procrastination. Sixth is distraction. And lack of time is the last. I'm outermost. Okay, so you can manage time. That's why time is in the... Yeah, I can manage time. But there but is a then, lot of... Always while yeah, reading yeah. a chakra review. I will yeah. tell you a trick. Always while reading or making a chakra review. Write your goal in the center. Okay. Okay. And then... While reading, to break it, how will you come? You will come from inside to out or you have to come from outside to in? Yes, Out. Vijay sir is sharing outside to in. So Out. always start reading it. Once you plan it on the paper or once you draw it on the paper, start breaking right. it level-wise from the outside. Okay. Now you have confirmed yourself that these are the obstacles of my life to reach this goal. But... If you think of, or if you start reading from the innermost core, you are again confirming your brain that these are the difficult most things. So we okay. again here, what we will do? We will ignore the innermost difficult task which, which, which we have written on the paper. And we will start eliminating the outer course. Okay. So once those walls are broken, your brain will start opening up to the possibilities of even breaking the hardest wall inside. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So similarly, Kamudi, what is your so first wall is broken, Kamudi? Yes. Yes. Have you got the technique to break your last wall? Yeah. That is distraction. Now, so what is the second wall? Lack of motivation. Lack of motivation. So, what is motivation? As for you, to uh, be inspired to do something. To have that um, deep uh, willingness. Okay. Can Rakesh sir or Srivatsal sir, can you share what is motivation? Any one of you? Yeah, there are two ways of uh, motivating yourself. Either there is someone whom you uh, adore or love, he can tell you, or you have to motivate yourself for doing something. In my opinion, I don't yes, know about yes. others. Correct, correct, on the correct track. Sir. Yes, Sri Vasan, sir. Uh, sir, your speaker, you off. Yeah. If we have very good connections with somebody, it automatically encourages, inspires us to do something. Okay. That I see it as motivation. Okay, seeing is motivation. Correct? Yes. Okay, anyone else? Yes. Uh, Rakesh, Erion, uh, ma'am, who is it? 
actually sometimes your mother encourages you to do right. something and uh, she gives you that much power that mm -hmm. you get to it so you are motivated that way well, yes bina ma'am you can tell in yes bina ma'am you can tell in bina we can't hear you yes vijay sir krishna sir can you tell because motivation is a very different topic and everybody perceives motivation in a different way i think motivation is something which keeps you which keeps you moving towards your goal isn't it yeah so yeah. Uh, it's better if it is self motivation rather than some external factor yeah, but how many of you feel self motivated tell me that it is an uh, i tell you with me uh, it वैसा माहौल रहता है जब एकदम सेल्फ मोटिवेटेड रहते हैं देन स्लोली इट कम्स डाउन आई नीड अ ट्रिगर फ्रॉम समवन देन आई गेट दैट इज द नेचर ऑफ मोटिवेशन दैट इज द नेचर ऑफ मोटिवेशन व्हिच कीप्स हैपनिंग मोटिवेशन इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू अटेन बट वेरी इजी टू गेट ऑफ ऑफ ट्रैक यू नो you can easily get demotivated by even somebody looking at you you will feel that that person is going to mark you something negative on you you get demotivated immediately you are speaking in public and somebody is staring at you and if you get an eye contact with that person you will stare for 2 minutes you will get scared for 2 minutes might be that person is already daydreaming but you will feel that he is looking at you and you will get demotivated for a second so motivation is very difficult to attain and so it is always said that self motivation is good but can people self motivate yes with the strong will yes with the strong will yes just look at yourself in the mirror and say i can do it yes yeah uh, we have a uh, exercise over it to motivate yourself we say it as simha lokan so i don't know how many of you know simha lokan is uh, when a tiger walks into a path or into a jungle he walks a certain mile and then he looks back he gazes back that gaze of a lion is known as simha lokan and that means the tiger always whenever he walks a mile he looks back whether is there some danger or is there somebody who is following me and again to re confirm himself how much he has walked so being humans when you want to motivate yourself just give a gaze back to your life roar towards it yes i have walked i have walked past this much of my life and now i can live further now i can plan further so that is called as simha lokan that is a idea to motivate yourself when you look back you come to know what achievements you have done what good and bad you have faced and what gave you that power to survive so that survival till date will motivate you to look forward so can you do that comedy Uh, so it can be what analysis yes swot analysis uh, no swot analysis again a different thing this is a very simple exercise you gaze back gaze back in sense you roar towards your life uh, we even uh, for certain patients we say roar like a lion when you are feeling trapped and uh, demotivated roar like a lion so that brings the power inside that uh, that roaring builds the power inside and then when you uh, swot analysis is completely different you write down your uh, strengths your weaknesses and then you analyze it this is just looking back to your life and judging yourself or uh, motivating yourself that i have uh, seen many hurdles similar to this hurdle i can even surpass it so it is that simha lokan is similar to that ki if i have seen that worst time i can even survive this worst that will give you a motivation for your own self if you are surviving there is something within you which have made you which has made you survive and so you can struggle for it okay am i making sense 
yes okay so next comedy so you have broken now the motivation yes. part now you will roar back to your life and say oh, i can do it i will win over so guys go for the next Yes. Next is procrastination. Procrastination. So, what is procrastination? So you don't putting do off, it. putting off something, <laughs> just putting a delay, yeah. doing something, so, just putting it off. So, how do you feel procrastination comes from? Laziness. Yeah. Yes. And. It could be also demotivation sometimes. Is your demotivated? Then who you don't. Your, who is your? Well, who is your worst enemy? At times, it may be the low confidence that takes you, mm. uh, makes stops you from taking the steps towards it. Who procrastinates? Your mind. Mind yourself procrastinate. Yeah. there are no people around there is no reason around but it is you who will always procrastinate first the thinking process will first pull you down your own self there is nobody who will come and pull you on legs until you allow that person to isn't it so how will you not procrastinate whenever you feel you are procrastinating look at your achievements but here i have people who say i have not achieved any so for them achievement is getting some award or getting something uh, recognition from the society or somewhere here or there so achievement is again different for different people isn't it but we have to understand that achievement is one day surpassed you cannot win over life and is there anybody we know that there are uh, seven purushas who are uh, uh, given abhaydan or who are living but have you seen them no we say that parshurama is waiting we say hanumana is waiting they are all there they are still alive but chiranjeevi. we have not seen them chiranjeevi chiranjeevi so but then is it there what we are seeing since our life since our birth is there somebody around us who is chiranjeevi have we seen somebody who is chiranjeevi no the maximum life is 120 recorded 120 to 130 not more than that so there is nobody who is chiranjeevi so one day we surpass living fighting struggling happiness sad like these are the uh, ratios of life but you live that one day is your winning so that is your achievement so 365 days a year you have won over 365 एक साल जिया उससे अच्छा है मैं बोलू मैं 365 डेज जी तो मैंने बहुत बड़ा अचीवमेंट कर लिया ना सो चेंज योर पर्सपेक्टिव्स अबाउट व्हाट यू फील अचीवमेंट वी सर्वाइव द कोविड वेव 1 2 एंड 3 सो वी विल हैव नाउ फोर इज अगेन कमिंग सो देयर आर मेनी मोर थिंग्स इन कोविड तो वी हैड अ वेरी ह्यूज वेव व्हिच टुक मेनी पीपल मेनी लाइफ्स even it has shattered us emotional even if we are survivors we were shattered somewhere down to the core of our hearts sitting in house getting uh, like locked up in a room even if you sneeze people seeing at you that's again a procrastination isn't it demotivation So now, can we win over all the three layers, Kamudi? So, which three yes. layers have you broken now? Yeah. Which three layers you broke? Distractions, lack of motivation, procrastination. So they were were they in interconnected somewhere or the other? Yes, very much. So, how are you feeling? How is your circle now? 
distorted the outer layers are gone yeah looks more open lot of more openings so the war field is emptied now yeah the circle has become smaller few layers to break in isn't it yes yes getting that uh, that goosebumps of winning that attitude towards winning now can you break the other layers too we yes. have already entered the war field so you cannot come back now <laughs> <laughs> You cannot say no. Already three no. layers are broken now. So next layer. Okay. Next is lack of information. Lack of information. So why do you feel is there lack of information? It could be my mindsets or thoughts, my own uh, maybe laziness of not getting the information, even if the information is sometimes available. Or not making that extra effort to get the information or whatever is required. Okay, so it is lack of motivation again. Yes. In today's world of Google, if you are saying there is lack of information, how how much do you justify it? lack of information for me? Not as what is available. So then, so what is your goal? Yes, yes. Specifically yours. So yeah. then, here we have to find out what our goal is, where it lies, in which area or zone can I get connected uh, notes or connected information for it. See, lack of information is there for people who try to give reasons or who will never try to find out. When you have a will to achieve things. And uh, you can go far away to reach that goal. So lack of information comes when you don't try to find out at the right, correct address. Okay. Lack of information is knocking at the wrong door. Mm -hmm. We have to knock the right door to get the correct information. And to knock the correct door or to understand which correct door we are missing on, we have to write down certain pros and cons of our goal or achievement. So whatever goal you are planning, there are certain pros and cons for it. When you knock down those pros and cons, you understand which door you, have, you are searching wrong and which right door you have to go to. Am I making sense to you now? Yes, yes. Correct. So now you know, now I have to write down what is my goal and where is it leading. If I need a and I am looking at the dust, I will not get a shakkar. So knocking at the right door is also important. When you, when you are guided to go to right and you are always trying that, okay, this is my right and I am going here. You will go to the wrong direction. You have to specify it. You have to explain it to yourself and you have to elaborate it. Lack of information will come when you don't elaborate the thing. When you look at something on top, you will not understand what you need to do to reach the right way. But when you try to get inside it, then you will understand what are the uh, requirements of that thing. What are the of that thing. And what is the information you are looking out for? Sometimes information will be just next door. But you will be searching somewhere else. So you will never get it. Okay. Yes. So is this circle broken now? Yes, yes. Very Did much. you try to sir, knock at the right door for the information? Yes. 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 So four layers broken. Four layers broken. Yeah. Yeah. So, for me, the fifth layer is well-being. Well-being. Health. Health. Okay. So, now, you are a Tao healer. Yeah. And still you feel that that well-being layer is not uh, easy to conquer? Uh, well, it may not be that way. But, you know, there are layers in your well-being also. So every layer is getting opened up as you clear the first layer. 
So certain times, so certain things all yeah. those seven pointers are interconnected. One okay. dependent on the other. So yeah. well-being is not always just about you or just about your health. Sometimes well-being of your near and fa- uh, dear members can also affect your goals. Yes. How does. can we overcome that? We just need to be very grounded. Grounded. So we just have to go through. And let me is what I come. Go. Yeah. Let go. Yeah. Let go. When you let go of things, when you uh, what happens, you know, uh, it is a study found that when somebody is told that you are affected, it was a study that uh, uh, I think 100 samples were taken or 100 people were uh, undergone with some test in which only 50 tests were done, 50 people were not tested. But the result given to them that uh, them was the declared result was that you all are diabetic. So it was found that the 50 who were not tested at all were also found diabetic after six months. And the 50 who were told that you are diabetic, in that ratio, there was, a, I think, a very inc- a decreased ratio of people who were having diabetes. there are people but he starts getting more conscious about it so his conscious efforts make him run here and there and uh, make him concentrate more on that uh, disease which sometimes uh, enhances the uh, quality or you can say the strength of that disease yeah. so corona me jisko corona nahi hua hai or it was not corona sabko ho chuka hai Paise to dekhne jai, doctors have said that everybody has gone through that wave somewhere or the other uh, that corona has passed through you but your immunity was strong enough your will was strong enough for not letting it harm you or your immune system People जो बहुत ज़्यादा सब्जियाँ धो के and polish करके खा रहे थे उनको भी कोरोना हो गया and people who were not taking care that much to that extent and who were casual about it were not affected by it. So your will is your well-being. Your way of looking at things is your well-being. I am strong enough. May what come? That is your well-being. Okay, if somebody near and dear is not well, I will take utmost care of that person, but I will not let that harm my goals or harm me from my origins. Things upar niche tabe to hoti rahi. Not only that well-being, but your mental well-being will also pull you down. That will, the mental well-being will give you a fatigue which is worse than what an actual deceased person has. You will not feel to work some. So how will you work over your mental well? By reaffirming yourself, by giving you positive affirmations that you can do it. I am well defined by my goal and I am well defined to what I want to achieve. My wellness is always in my hands. So whenever you feel that I am not well, see, look into your hands. So whenever you look into your hands, things which are in your hand are in your control. Things which are outside your hands, which you cannot control, leave them. Don't think about it. If I am not feeling well, if my head is paining or there are certain things which are bothering me, what is in my hand? So stop thinking about it. So when I stop thinking about it, it, I will start feeling good about it. So that is how you affect or you can deplete your well-being by supporting yourself. By connecting with yourself, by trusting yourself. We lose trust in ourselves, we will lose our well-being. So start trusting yourself. 
Okay. Next. So five layers broken. I hope everybody is working on each of their layers too with Kamudi. Okay. So next layer, Kamudi. Yeah. Pardon? Fear. 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 Fear of what? Fear of winning. Fear of achievement. Now you have broken all the layers. You are near to the winning pose now. So fear yeah. of what? So probably in all these layers cause that fear. All these layers cause the fear. Yeah. So now, how will you eliminate your fear? By having more trust, faith and confidence. Roll back. Somebody in, roll back. Yeah, roll back. Yes. And you have broken all the layers. Roll back now. And yes. feel proud of yourself. Fear is essential. So that we don't go on wrong tracks. A fearless person will go trying everything and anything. So fear is essential. But that fear should not overpower you. When the fear overpowers you, it pulls you back. Fear is always essential to live, to survive. When you fear something, you are alive. When you don't fear something, you are dead. Hitler was fearless. But so he is registered as a dead person for humanity. So fear is essential. But then we need to understand where to stop that fear, where to control it and how to control it. Now, can you control your fears? Yes, to quite some extent, yes. Quite some extent. Okay, so you need more more tools to eliminate your fear, I think. Yeah. Yes. Write down your fears and flush them off. Okay. Or train them off. This is yeah. the easiest way to overcome your fears. Yes. Your subconscious. Your fear is your subconscious. Mm -hmm. So the subconscious needs a subconscious framing. So when you write down something or you say say that fear and you try to get it off from you. When you to So to move it out of your life, you have to write it down, you have to burn it or you have to flush it. Okay. Your subconscious will feel that it is gone. It's gone. Yes. When you show it, it's gone. It's gone. Until you will not frame yourself, it will not go. Not go. Yes. So, framing. And then, you have to act over it. Right. Yes. I do that. That's how the fear will go. That is the subconscious feeling of your body. That is how a human body is made up of. Next. Like the last year, I think. Last one. Yeah. Lack of time. Lack of time. Yeah. So, so I feel lack of time because uh, sometimes too much of overthinking, then you're losing on time, not acting upon it. That is the reason I feel stuck kind of a thing, which sometimes becomes very difficult to release. Then to some extent, sometimes procrastination is one of the things because now you're you pushing all the levels, layers now. No? Yeah, yeah. So still, I think this should not be a problem. Still so so lack yeah, of time sorry. could be not uh, not being able to prioritize your work. Scheduling the work. Yeah. Lack of time comes by not being a good planner. We plan things for others, but we never plan things for ourselves. And that is a research, like certified research. People love to plan things for others, but they will never love to plan something for themselves. Why? Because while planning for oneself, we will not prioritize we take actions as per our comfort zones. We will not try to implement things hard and fast on ourselves, but we will implement the same thing to others. So we can plan for others, but not for ourselves. Here where you feel lack of time, and you can take help of somebody and plan your day. Let them plan your day. 
So when you feel there's lack of time, let others plan your day. Because when you plan your day, you will prioritize your options. Yes. You will prioritize your ease of life. Ease of life. We will not go the hard way. But when somebody else will plan it, he will give you all the things in a timetable without sure. knowing what is your comfort zone. Mm. And if you follow it, you will overcome that lack of time. Yes. Sometimes uh, situations also plan for you. So <laughs> you automatically go heavy. Things. See, it is not an hard and fast routine. Time is always, time is never in our hand. Time is running. Now sitting here, I think one and a half hour is gone in this session. But we had planned for it. So we are here together. We had planned for it to get something new. To learn something new. To get connected with it. So when you have something planned, you sit for it. So I think every Tuesday gathering, you make a point that you sit for it. Right? Similarly, to achieve your goal, if you plan that, no, I have to achieve it. Maybe I can compromise somewhere else. You will achieve that. So this reason is only mentally. You break all the boundaries and you enter that chakra view, you will reach the winning stroke. Very true. <laughs> Hope I have done justice to you. Yes, yes, very much. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. So now, it's almost 10 minutes left. Anybody wants to try more or you have got your answers for each stretch? Any questions? Hello. Yes, Dr. Aditi. Yes, Dr. Aditi. Yeah, I would like to know about distractions once again in brief. Uh, I think I uh, missed out little part with the call. I would like to know about distractions. Okay, so what are distractions, ma'am? Something we keep, which keeps you away from your goal or way towards goal. Distractions are your hobbies or your choices, your leisure. Ah, I agree completely. Correct. So... Uh, if a diabetic person is given a box full of sweets, will he will he have it? Yeah. If he is not having control on it, he will definitely have one or two pieces. But one or two. But will he have the whole box? No, no, no. He won't. Because he knows that. Yeah. He cannot have the full box of sweets for yes. himself because he is already diabetic. It yes. is harmful for him. Similar right. are distractions. Okay. You know that the distraction is not good for you, but still you want to get distracted. <laughs> okay. So it's on you how to avoid distractions. I told Kamadi, close your eyes, close your ears when that distraction is coming. Okay. Gandhi ji ke teen bandar. Kaan ban, aag ban, move ban. Sometimes food is a distraction. Eating is a distraction. Listening to some stories or some TV or some music is a distraction. Listening to others is a distraction. Yes, yes, People yes. People come and say something, I get distracted. I was just sitting for homework and she told me something and I got distracted. Is a reason which kids give you very well. Yes. Tell your kids to give you an answer. Mom, I am studying. I will do this thing after half an hour. Right. Got it. They can easily overcome that distraction. But yes. they want to get distraction. So, distracted. <laughs> so, they will give that reason that you told me to get up. So, I left my studies and went. I think so I know, we do the same thing like kids. No? <laughs> Even if we know we keep they doing something. They are working. They are imitating us. Yes. So they will give you the reasons which you give them. Okay. You called me up, I left that thing. Yeah. <laughs> when you have prioritized the thing, you okay. will give another person a reason that I will not get distracted. I will complete this and then complete. I am not telling you that I won't do your work. I am not avoiding you. I am not uh, here to uh, eliminate any of my responsibilities. I will do it. But let me complete this. So one thing at a time, 
will eliminate your distractions. Don't try to put your steps on all 10 stones at a time. Okay, thank you. One by one. You will eliminate your distractions. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yes, any more questions? No questions? Or was there nothing? Procrastination, see? Yes, yes, yes. Procrastination is always happening to me. I'm postponing everything. I know I'm postponing. I know I'm postponing. Then I said this extended, extended. Now you have to, now you have to sit and not to postpone. You have to sit with yourself. I go through social, social media so much time, that's fine. Yeah, social media is the biggest. Yeah, but that time to sleep. Everything is out of order. See, here what I can tell is social media is the biggest uh, distraction also, but it is also the biggest healer found. There's a new, uh, like, uh, I think, syndrome, the Facebook syndrome. It is a recent study, a Facebook syndrome. It is given the name of Facebook syndrome. People get up and check their Facebook first. Not only Facebook, YouTube, but YouTube. YouTube, Facebook. But then that is the social media. But Facebook, why? Because social life, people are interested in others' social life. So it is named as a, a Facebook syndrome now. It is a new addiction started, Facebook syndrome. But then... Social media or YouTube or all, these are distractions. If you take it in a way of distraction, there are good things which you can take from the YouTube. There are good time zones or there are good learnings which you can take from this. What channel or what video you are watching on YouTube is more important. So channelizing your thoughts, your processes, your likes and your dislikes is more important while choosing social media. Just looking at the videos is not. What you're taking from the videos is important. If you make a habit to your brain, wherever you are make, looking at a video, start writing some notes. Make it a point that whatever video or whatever you look on the social media, you will write down something what you learned from each video. After a few days, you will stop watching. Because you will understand what content you are getting from it. I used to take and if you are time. looking at a very good videos, like hmm. if you are uh, going through uh, Tuesday gatherings or say some Sadhguru gatherings or Sadhguru videos, where there is learning, where there is a spiritual connect, then you will attain it more. Yeah, you will understand notes. yourself more. Yes, Sri sir. I am also taking notes of all these things. Yes, you have so many things. Yeah, but then what happens if you're spending that, then it is a spiritual growth. That is not a distraction, sir. No, but sometimes I will. Yeah, so there you you have to grip yourself down. That's sometimes why I'm go telling. somewhere else also. That's that's why I'm telling you, na, sir. Then you write down the notes now. You understand that this is a good content, this is a bad content. So then you have to cut off from that moment. That self-realization should increase. That is more. not happening. That cutting off is not happening. <laughs> so that's all over the control. You have to cut off. You have to learn to cut off. What happens when something good is happening? Our brain will signal us that okay, you're going, you're distracted, you're going on a wrong path. You have to cut off yourself. It is all here. You can control yourself. If you don't want to control, then nobody can control. But sometimes we can control. That's what we can. You can control yourself every now and then. Not yes. sometimes. Only you can control yourself. Nobody else can. They say they make memes that wives control husbands. Wives don't control husbands. Husbands control themselves. All the ladies are smiling. Wives don't control husbands. Husbands 
control themselves because they wa don't want to go further into any arguments or something there are many memes there are many uh, jokes which we see around it okay bivi ne dekha to husband chup ho gaya ya fir husband even ulta bhi hai ha uske pati ne dekha to wo chup ho gaye it's not like that there's some understanding between them which enhances that relationship but then what people sees only that one moment but they don't see what connection they have there is some understanding she saw means he gets alerted that okay she wants she is not agreeing with the point let us not talk now but hum log usko memes mein hi lenge yahan wo chup baith gaya to wo ek alertness of brain hota hai ki wo samne wale ki wo ahad bhi samajhni chahiye similarly is with your distractions when you are seeing something and you want you feel you get that alert huh? that brain ko alert dega ki aap wrong track pe ja rahe ho kuch der ke liye even if you go on that wrong track and it is relaxing you it's okay but it should not be a habit for you are you getting me she she sir she also yeah. sir yeah yeah your habits are what you develop so when you are very well and when you are explaining it in front of so many people you know where you are going wrong and where you are correct because you are on a path where you are noting down certain where you are connecting yourself spiritually understanding yourself is the biggest science connecting with yourself uh, working on your well being is the uh, key to life or key to success when you are into some spiritual growth when you are into connected with always a learning process you will always upgrade yourself these distractions are there to me also to uma ma'am also to everyone because procrastination ma'am because so, yeah procrastination is all about others not, so oh, because of this time not time so going procrastination to procrastination is time. all about see, postponing everything again what i will say is, sir log kya sochte is not what we are here for agar aisa hota to mahabharat kabhi hota hi nahi अगर प्रोकास्टिनेशन के बारे में सोच के अर्जुन ने कभी बाण ही नहीं उठाया होता तो महाभारत होता ही नहीं 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 and start working on it from the first to the innermost core and then you'll be out of it okay <laughs> thank you thank okay. you chalo hope i have done justice to you all to your time and thank you uma ma'am and kamudi for this wonderful opportunity thank you kamudi would you like to a vote of thanks to shraddha for her beautiful Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Shraddha ma'am. Thank, Thank you so all much. Thank you so much. It was a wonderful session and so much of uh, in deep, in depth understanding of how we ourselves are responsible and how we we can break our chakra views. It's nobody else from outside who can come and help us because unless until we ourselves make an effort to break those layers. we will not be able to reach our own goals so as it is said that we are the creators of our own life so this is how it is a very very informative session where you know you can go step by step thinking why this particular layer or this particular cause is creating an obstacle for you to reach your goal i hope each one of us will make use of these tools and try to introspect self introspect as to how we can break these walls and reach our goals and make life much more easier and we can follow this for everything i think it's not only a particular career goal or anything i think even if you need to go through a day you can always keep working it is i think a continuous process that you keep doing 
every time. So thank you so much for a beautiful session and explaining so very well by taking up an example and it really helps everybody to relate because each and everyone has the traits, maybe less or more, but then everybody gets an insight of how they can go ahead with it. Thank you so much for this wonderful session and we hope to have you for some more sessions and learn much more from you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Shatan. Thank you so much. Would love and to whenever I can. Sorry? Would love to be a part whenever I can. Yes, even we would love to hear you learn so much from you. Thank you so much. And thank you everyone for being a part of this session. And we hope to bring you something more interesting next Tuesday. So yeah, next Tuesday we'll be having about how we can overcome pain. P-A-I-N, pain. Overcoming pain in the physical body, emotional body, in our relationships, in every aspect of life. Again, that will be an interactive session wherein I think it would be good if you could have a paper and pencil with you because the, we are going to be having two speakers for next uh, Tuesday and both of them will be helping us to handle pain. So please be there with us next Tuesday, same time, 4.30 to 6. And uh, thank you, Shraddha, once again for this beautiful session. And before we close, can I request Amitaji to please do the honor of ch chanting a Shanti Mantra? Amita, are you? Yeah. Yes, yes, sure, sure, Master Romaji. Shraddha ji ne jo bhi kuch bataya, wo bahut hi achcha hai, bahut hi interesting tha. Usi ke upar main kehna chahungi ki agar aapko chakravyu ho, bhedna hai, to ye bahut important hai. Om Purnamida, Purnamidam. Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishate Om Shanti 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 How? Thank you.